All right, my name is Jack Howard, and I'm a radio and data journalist for NPR in Chicago. I graduated from the University of Missouri's journalism school last year, and I've made a couple apps for public media. My partner is Lucas Rasnick, and he's worked in detoxification clinics and has a chemical engineering background from the University of Michigan and is currently applying to medical school. I wanted to make this app because Lucas found that the most powerful aspect of the recovery process was the social, making the community and addiction clinics extremely helpful. He said that some of the group therapy sessions were really intense, and everyone within the community would definitely help each other out. And that's why we wanted to make the app. The recovery community is one of the most supportive groups we have ever witnessed, and we would like to use this available strength to the benefit of our app and those at risk of overdosing. Because our app is intended for use by any recovering addicts, especially those who have had their lives saved because someone had access to naloxone. Their families and neighbors, people that care deeply about addicts' lives and are willing to come and help. So that's why we made Naloxone Neighbors. Three simple buttons, three unique solutions. Fundamentally, it's a data problem with a heart. When we look at the first button on the app, to call 911 because almost one in two people don't call 911. That's the most helpful thing they can do. And that statistic is according to a recent FDA panel discussion from 2012. And so we want our app to function as a vehicle to guide someone reacting in an emergency overdose situation to make ideal judgments in a timely manner because truly every second matters. We want to start a new chain of events that leads to surviving an OD, and that begins with naloxone neighbors. So when we look at the second button, we realize that when we try to stop a problem in real time by calling 911 and also reaching out to other neighbors, naloxone neighbors who are registered, we think that we want to solve problems not just in real time, but ahead of time. And that's why we have the feature urges. When someone feels, when an addict feels like they may crave the drug, they should click that. And in this way, they can look at the 12 steps to, to really figure out if they need help. Because we believe we can help police stations know where to divvy up their resources in the future. Because addicts experiencing urges can lead to drug use. And if police officers know where some addicts feel uncomfortable, they may be able to help them better. Our app can work with local police forces. And last, we want to help others become registered. Those that register as naloxone carriers will input their home addresses because 78.2% of overdoses occur in the home, according to the National Institute of Drug Administration. Our app will then search through the home addresses of naloxone carriers to find the nearest one and contact them. This sign-up feature will encourage neighbors to join. This way, we can all be naloxone neighbors. And so when I think about what's next for the app, I think about connecting the back end with maps features. As people move around, we want them to know that there's also naloxone carriers moving around. So when you feel the urge that there is someone nearby. Currently, our system is based on 911, and we're looking forward to advancements in 911 as well. Thanks so much for listening. I'm Jack Howard, and my partner is Lucas Rasnick.